You don't need better charts. You don't need better tools. You need better thinking. These five frameworks turn me from a confused data analyst into the person that executive calls when something breaks. Let me break this down. I'll show you each one of the framework and how to use it like people in McKinsey use. When I started working as a data analyst, I hated the phrase, can you analyze this data? No directions, no structure, just a blank screen with a cursor. It felt like building a IKEA furniture without any instructions. Then I learned these five frameworks. It gave me the structure, the confidence, and I started generating business value and most analysts still don't know that they exist. The first framework is called MECE, which is mutually exclusive, collectively exhaustive. It's consulting 101 and it's taught day one at McKinsey. And now it's your secret weapon. MECE means that you break problems into clear buckets where there's no overlap and nothing is missing. Let's say your customer satisfaction is down. You just don't guess. You use MECE to break this problem into different buckets. Customer satisfaction could be down due to product issues, customer experience, or it could be due to external factors where you break down each category into clear and unique buckets. The second framework you can use is called issue tree. Now that you are thinking in a structured manner, the issue tree breaks big messy problems into bite-sized steps. Let's say a stakeholder tells you that our profits are down. You branch out different issues why the profits are down. You branch into three different issues such as revenue, cost, or pricing. Then you break down these categories into subcategories. So for example, for revenue, you would identify either it could be due to customer, average order volume, or frequency. For cost, you would break it down into call, labor, material, or operations. For pricing, the profit could be down due to high pricing or low pricing. So it's like turning a chaos into a checklist. You can also use the third framework, which is hypothesis tree. Now imagine your daily revenue just dropped 20%. Your boss is panicking. Everyone is throwing guesses. You build a hypothesis tree and solve it in one meeting. You just don't explore everything. You test smart. You list out different reasons. For example, either it could be due to few new year users or it, it could be due to poor retentions or your daily average order volumes shrunk. So basically you develop each branch and you choose your own adventure for your KPI. You basically test different hypotheses, you validate, you reject, and then you move fast. Want to become a data analyst? My analyst accelerator course will just help you do that. In just few days, you'll go from feeling lost in spreadsheets to building clean reports and dashboards with confidence. You learn how to ask questions, work with messy data, and explain your work in simple, clear terms. The link is in the description below. If you want to feel confident, Confident. When someone asks for insight, this course is your starting point. The fourth framework you can also use is called two by two prioritization metrics. Not every analysis deserves your time. You can use the two by two metrics that gives you the permission to focus. You can plot by value versus effort. So the two by two metrics has four quadrants. The first one is high value, low effort. Basically it requires less effort, but it delivers a high return on investment. It basically delivers a quick wins. The second one is high value, high effort, which requires more work but also the return on investment is also high, which are for strategic projects. The third one is low value, high effort, which has minimal uh, return on investment, but a lot of effort, a lot of time. The fourth one is uh, low value, low effort. It's basically, it doesn't deliver any value. So don't waste time on those. Now you have a clear picture. Now you can say no without sounding unhelpful using prioritization metrics. The fifth one is called Minto Pyramid. You've done the work. Now what? You need to communicate like a pro. Most analysts, when they present, they will present in a certain way where they will say, we looked at A, then we found B, and here's our conclusion. By then, your executives are mentally checked out. Instead of that, you can use Minto Pyramid. It's like showing a movie trailer before the film. You can lead with insights, then you can explain why, and then finally you show with your data. So I'll give you an example of how you can use Minto Pyramid. So you're losing talent faster than your competitors. You have 18% attrition rate, which is higher than your industry average of 13%. You can use Minto Pyramid to solve this problem. You start off with a conclusion, then you support your clear arguments and then you finally provide your evidence so when you start off with a conclusion you come up with different conclusions such as you need to improve compensation training you need to prevent burnouts to reduce retention now this becomes your north star then you support with clear arguments your attrition exceeds industry benchmark of by five percent which is costing you 1.2 million dollars annually then you conduct exit interview 
issues that shows three consistent patterns and you address your solutions directly with these patterns. Then finally, you provide the evidence where you find out that 68% cite it's related to pay issues, 54% mention its lack of growth opportunities and 71% report that burnout symptoms before leaving. So you just don't sound like a junior data analyst or a junior analyst. You sound more in control. Individually, these frameworks are powerful, but together they form your thinking system. Now let's compare two different analysts. Analyst A dives into SQL, builds 10 charts, but there's no story. Versus Analyst B, it starts with the MECE, then explores with the issue tree, then test ideas with hypothesis tree, then it prioritizes work with two by two metrics, and then it presents it with the Minto pyramid. Guess who will impress the executives and the board, it's going to be analyst B. These tools aren't just for McKinsey consultants, but they can be used by any data professional. If you want to become a data analyst, my analyst accelerator course will help you to do exactly that. In just a few days, you'll go from a spreadsheet zero to a BI hero. The link is in the comment and in the description below.